Hi everyone, welcome back to my LP of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, and welcome to the final episode of the Let's Play. According to my inventory, I have collected every possible item that you could possibly get in this game, including all of the heart pieces. And for this fight, as you can see, all four of my bottles are filled with blue potion, which in a way is kind of overdoing it. I could always just fight Ganon without having anything in those bottles, or, in other words, going inside the fight with all empty bottles. That's pretty much how confident I am, but I'll tell you what, I'll make sure that I'll beat Ganon without using a single blue potion. Let's make this a self-challenge. So before I enter the fight, Ganon is going to have four phases. So for this fight, you will need your Master Sword, or Temper Sword, or Golden Sword, whatever that you've gotten at this point. You'll also need the silver arrows, along with the bow, of course. Or else what? You're going to throw the silver arrows at him with your hands, and hopefully it'll do something. But anyways, and for the other item, you, you actually have a choice of either using the fire rod, or if you want a little bit of an extra challenge, the lamp. Alright, I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready? With that being said, I'm late for a very important date one final time. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aghanim, the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. As you can tell, as soon as I hit the floor, I went striking immediately just to get a head start. But with that being said, let's begin. What I'm going to do here is, unlike in the past during my own casual playthroughs, I'm actually going to take my time with this fight, so I can show you all the different phases. So the first phase is he's going to swing his trident at you. And this is phase two right here, he's going to cast some fire around in a circle, and they're all, they're all going to transform into fire case. Just avoid them, that's all. Oh, I got hit by one, but that's okay. Go over here. So I'm still in phase two. In my own casual playthroughs, I would just constantly just wail at him with the sword. Okay, this is phase three. Actually, you know what? I surpassed pay, uh, phase three. Wait, that's phase three right there. Maybe phase three and phase four are combined. So there's only three phases for the fight, but... What I was going to say for th Phase 3 is that he does that pound and a whole bunch of fire goes around in a circle. So this is the final phase. Since now he has pounded the ground so that the sides of the floor are now bottomless pits leaning down to that platform that I showed in the last episode, he now provides this message with this, of course. I'll just get this out of the way. You are doing well, lad, but can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! Alright, get your... Fire rod or lamps out. I'm gonna go for the extra challenge and go for the lamp. But it's also convenient that you can use the lamp instead of the fire rod and save some magic power. So, yes, this is the final phase. Okay, use the lamp now. Light up the torches. Because if you don't, he will be invincible. Ooh, I almost fell down. Okay, while he's blue, strike with a silver arrow. It takes four silver arrows to kill him, and that's all it takes. Oh, gotta light those torches again. Get away, fire. Okay. Okay, two down, two to go. Get, get the lamp out. Go, 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 go. Get the other one. Okay, another silver arrow. Okay, just need one more. Get the lamp back out. You know what? I think I'm, I'm going to beat him without using a single blue potion. And I used the lamp instead of the fire rod. Okay, just going to strike him once. Right here. And I got him. And that is game. Perfecto. Link, you're the hero once again. And oh yeah, you guys are in for a treat as soon as the character cast is played. I got a song just for you. But there's one more piece of text that I gotta read off from the Triforce itself. Welcome, Link. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. 
If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land into the Dark World. After building up his power, Ganon planned to go on to the Light World to fulfill his wish. But now that Ganon has been destroyed, his Dark World will surely vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new master. Its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it and think of the wish in your heart. As I get ready for my song, because I have the lyrics right here on a piece of paper. I think this is the part where, where Link is going to touch the Triforce and make his wish. Yep, right here. Okay, get ready for my masterpiece, or my master poop. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Okay, here we go. I have beaten this game more or less of the same for the thousandth time. It's never lame. It's my favorite request because I am the best. There's no judgment. There's no contest. It's a blast. A link to the past. A link to the past. It is so vast. A link to the past. A link to the past. A link to the past. No need to ask. Yes, I will. Play it again. You will see. It's not the end. Because I will be starting a new run. But this time, here's the shocker. It is a randomizer. Oh, squee! I'm full of glee. There's no fee. That you'll see, you and me, it's gonna be fun. I have to take a break, eat a big slice of cake, consider that a hint you shall take. That is for my next go, this is why you should know, it's my next LP I will soon show. This is what you should guess, it is a... FPS. Now I must chop my lips. No more hints, or I'll shake my hips. Ganondorf, blind the thief, and the thousands of keys. You shall listen to me, if you please worship me. I'm your lord, or you'll fall to my sword. Then I'll hang your heads on my dartboard. Oh, don't you pout, no, don't you shout, bless the rainbow, yes, I must go, please wait till the time, as I will make this rhyme, I'm at the end of this game, so it's done. Because that's not the right way to play it on the next day. And you already knew what you'll do. Wait what's new for the view. It'll be too fun. Now I must take a bow as I ride on my cow straight to the sunset right here and now as i'm blind by the ray sitting over the bay i promise you i'll return someday i have to end this song i have taken too long i'm all finished now and i'm not wrong it's the truth not a lie don't you fret don't you cry i'll be back but farewell now and goodbye farewell now and goodbye. Farewell now and goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There, and with that, I've completed Let's Play number 20. 20 Let's Plays done. 
I can't believe I gotten this far. Wow. So, after listening to that song, I will be doing a Zelda Link to the Past randomizer down the road. Maybe even a few. The thing is, though, I'm not going to do it for the next Let's Play. I'm going to do a couple more Let's Plays first before doing my first Zelda ALTTP randomizer. But according to the song, if you listen carefully, you heard the next hint for my next Let's Play. If you can't remember, then you can always just go back in the video and just listen to the song again and you'll figure it out. But, of course, that Let's Play will be coming to you in a few days from here anyways. Now, since this Let's Play is now done, I don't want to forget to mention this, but I did mention this way back, probably on the first episode if I can remember, but there's going to be a bonus episode in regards to my Let's Play of Zelda A Link to the Past. If you remember, the bonus episode involves that one little cave that I showed near the right side of the pyramid. I reckon the bonus episode is going to be a very lengthy one. I will even bet on it at this point, but right now, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on it, and that bonus episode will be coming to you in just a couple of days. Not only will it be a real treat for you, I even believe it's going to be a real treat for me. And I cannot wait to play this bonus episode. Oh boy. But with that, let's see if I can think of anything else to say, but yes. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is my favorite video game ever. It'll be here, now, and forever be my favorite game. I don't even think any video game past, present, and future, future will beat it. I remember playing this game all the way back when I was just 7 years old when my parents used to run a video store way up in northern Maine. That's how far back my... How am I supposed to put it? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, my lifestyle, no, my experience, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. My, uh, my origin? I don't know, I'm not good with my vocabulary words, but my time with this video game goes as far back as when I was just 7 years old, and right now, I'm 33, so I've been playing this game for over 25 years. Can't you believe it? And oh look, the quest history! Take a look at all these locations, and to the right of them, the lives that I had to spend. Look at all this. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, what's this number? Oh yeah, zero! They're all zeros. If you followed me all the way up to this point, yeah, I never died one time. I've taken several hits, I mean, that's gonna be natural when you play a Zelda game anyways. There you go, total lives used, zero, no deaths, suck it game, Ah, oh, that feels so good. And that is the end right there, as I'll say it down there in the bottom right corner. Phew, can't believe it. I thought this Let's Play was gonna be about... 18 to 19 episodes long, but it looks like this is going to be episode number 22 as the finale, but I was kind of close on guessing the number. But yes, this version on Game Boy Advance is my favorite version of A Link to the Past to play on because it is portable. It's It loads really good when you go from area to area. It comes with a bonus game, Four Swords, if you have any friends to play with. And other things. I mentioned all the differences in the first episode, by the way. If for some reason you came to this episode first, which I don't know why you did that. You should start from the beginning and go all the way through like a storybook. But yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. I've already mentioned that I've been playing this game for over 25 years now. And chances are I'll be playing this game here and now. Or rather just here and there. That's the best words I was going to use. Playing this game here and there for the pretty much the rest of my life. It is that good. And I'm embarrassed to say about this. But even though I own a copy of a certain other game. 
I have never played it yet, and that is The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, which is the sequel to A Link to the Past. Marcus, shame on you. Just why? Just play it already. I know, I just haven't got around to it yet. I picked it up really dirt cheap for like 20 bucks just a few years ago. As a matter of fact, if I sit up right here, I can see it right from this angle, sitting right over there, complete and everything, but yet I have not got the chance to play it. I heard it was really good, and it makes me glad to hear that, since it, is, it does come from the roots of Zelda A Link to the Past. So yes, I'll play it on my own leisure someday, but when it comes to doing a Let's Play on Zelda A Link Between Worlds, I don't think it's not going to happen anytime soon because I don't have the proper capture software to do so. Unless you guys are willing to watch me do a Let's Play by using putting a camera in front of my 3DS and doing it that way, as if it was like the late 2000s or something, which I don't think you would like anyways. But yeah, as a Let's Play on Zelda A Link Between Worlds is not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, i spoken long enough. So, I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I hope you enjoyed the song that I had in store. I kept it as a surprise, as a matter of fact. And with that, if you want some just one more taste of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on my channel, then I'll see you guys in a couple of, ep uh, a couple of days for the bonus episode. But otherwise... I'll see you guys in a few days for the next Let's Play, which will be, of course, Let's Play number 21. Okay, that's good. I'm going to call it good here. Thank you so much for enjoying me this far. Hooray for me for 20 Let's Plays, so here's to another 20 more. And of course, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my general channel, Marcus P. Welby, for lots of random content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.